white angel on the brown demon's neck, of brave white knights, of lit spirits, and Dunkirk spirits, and spitfires, flying against the constructed backlist, Poorly defying against the constructed factor, held up by the partial view and sacred pride. Poorly built, held up by the partial view and sacred held up by the partial view and sacred pride. Because we keep saying that we are the gifts. The fake nostalgia I've never had it so good, and we all meet again. The fake nostalgia I've never had it so good. The fake nostalgia I've never had it so good. And we all meet again to reflect on my island pride. We all reflect on the rocky pride broken by the The sense of alarm and resentment lies not with the immigrant population, but with those among whom they have come to here and are still coming. Off on the plane here, born, but now we have the battle here. The butchers ain't playing in our trade against the battle plane. The butchers ain't into our trade. The butchers ain't in our trade. Into our trade. White man's ghost. Into our class. White man's ghost. White man's ghost. From the past. Officer. A figure from the past. White man's ghost. Of our figure. Made our figure from the past. White man's ghost. A figure from the past. White man's ghost. A figure haunting today's landscape forever. White man's ghost. Upon the empire where the sun comes. A figure haunting today's landscape forever. Upon the empire where the sun comes. But it's the plight of individual boys and girls. Which worries me most. Too often, our children don't get the education they need, the education they deserve. The education they deserve. In this country, in 15 or 20 years' time, the black man will have the whip hand over the white man. I can already hear the chorus of execration. How dare I say such a horrible thing? How dare I stir up trouble and inflame feelings by repeating such a conversation? The answer is that I do not have the right not to do so. The whitewash, the whitewash on, the on the skins of history, of history won't, let any healing, won't let any healing begin. A raw wound, a raw wound, wound and covered rotten. and becoming rotten. Septic. Septic hiding and hiding They found themselves made like strangers the in their own country. They found their wives unable to obtain hospital beds and childbirth. Their children unable to obtain school places. Their homes and neighborhoods changed beyond recognition. Their plans and prospects for the future defeated. At work, they found that employers hesitated to apply to the immigrant worker the standards of discipline and competence required of the native-born worker. They began to hear, as time went by, more and more voices which told them that they were now the unwanted. Well, it's hard, well, it's hard, blind and blind, partial truth, pointing to profit, and murder, and race, and slavery, famine, and forced starvation, and conquest by God's own mighty white hand. He's calling only by the makers of the beautiful the officer class, erasing histories of empire. Of empire. Consigned, consigned to ashes and the seas. Let the story making continue to begin. It's the trail of change. 
Dig the trenches, lay the bar, gotta hold the line in endless wars. Who are the ones who police the empires get down and dirty when it's time to settle scores? Who follows orders, breaches borders, a frontline force for powers corridors? Who's lost in action fills the graveyard and of course whose name liveth forevermore? Who walks the trail of tears? the trail of tears Oh dear Wallaby Where the hell do you think you are going? Oh maybe Wallaby Could I please take you out dancing? For I am all at sea And I am ever so lonely for I am all at sea and I am ever so lonely And they never, ever, ever came back Upon the empire we must be where mad. the sunny uplands never Literally set Literally mad as a nation, enabling to be legacy, the annual inflow an operation of some against real histories of blood, who are for the most part blood that the material matter. of the future growth of the immigrant Officer descended class, population, staking the nations on made-up like maps, watching a nation and we busily engaged in heating up its own funeral pyre. The deep structures, the untold stories the of empire, from the ever-present past to the ever unfolding present, from the outer to the inner world, from the haunting of history to seen by the only light that we have, which is now. fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air, we shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets. 
We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And the stories of the gallant trees and our mixed affections for our histories makes us feel better. So what's true? <laughs> Who owns the truth? Is it about power? Is it really about power? Or are there ways to kind of find and navigate our ways through this, this malaise of amnesia and pretending that we, we speak about British culture, everybody knows what we're talking about, but we really don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, what is true is such an interesting question to ask a historian. Um, we often get accused of, you know, we're, we're all postmodern woke so shows for justice warriors and we don't believe in truth, right? Truth doesn't exist. Um, and actually, I sort of do believe that in the sense that I think there have been long points in British history where British people have been able to point to a history of Britain that was true, right? Like, our island story was true when it was written. Now, that was a legitimate interpretation of what happened in the past. And I think one of the ways that we need to think about this as historians and about sort of like citizen historians, about people who are thinking about his history outside the academy, is that it's not really about the way to get around someone saying, no, this is the truth, this is the story, anything else is revisionist, anything else is erasing, anything else is just a distraction, is, is saying, well, no, like none of this is a single story, right? The, history is a tapestry you pull a little thread and you get one story and you pull another one you get another one and i think we need to dis i was gonna say disrupt like a tech bro i don't mean disrupt um i think we need to critique the idea that we're fighting against this single narrative of truth because it's also a much more positive position to be in to be saying look i'm not trying to i'm not trying to tear this down i'm trying to say look that's one interpretation that's one way of thinking about things the problem is that a lot of the people who stick to those single interpretations are people who are not used to having their ideas challenged as interpretive so a lot of the people who who want to believe in truth are people who have always been told that their ideas are true and right and they want to believe stories about the past that that explain why they are in positions of power and also somehow that they're goodies <laughs> which historically doesn't necessarily go together. Um, so I think a lot of this is about kind of disentangling that as a narrative. It's like you said, writing history is rewriting. 